Are they going to start doing more things like we saw with other M, partner with other developers? Maybe that's why they're briefing third parties because they want to get, you know, well, are we going to see them make less it? software? Than well, we you see? look yeah. at how much third party software, you know, is released for the Wii. I mean, you know, when, oh, tons, when it, Nintendo software, is, you know, official Nintendo stuff comes out, it's few and far between. Right. And hopefully, you know, nine times out of ten, it's excellent. But if it wasn't for the third parties, that would, you know, the Wii would have been a dust yeah. bowl. And well, as you know, well, it's it one thing is. for third parties to invest, you know, a couple million in a, in a Wii game, but now, you know, if you got to do really these blockbuster games, uh, it's, it, I mean, it's really interesting. So right now, I mean, the strategy doesn't make a lot of sense, I think, to But eventually anyone. Nintendo has to do it, right? They can't keep yeah. making standard definition games till the end of time. But it's just me, we're going to have, you know, Zelda with, you know, full voiceover and, you know, huge, you know, next-gen visuals. I mean, it's like, I don't think that's something that Nintendo's going to be able to, you know, build. Is Kojima going to build that for him or something? Curve, yeah. And yeah. it's like, I just, that's why I really wonder, like, you know, Nintendo is known for great first-party software, um, and I just don't know, you know, what kind of software they're going to build for this device. And, you know, it's great that, you know, Rockstar might have a dev kit, et cetera, et cetera. But I don't think they're, you know, they're not the kind of company that's just going to chase the Xbox 360 market. I don't um, know. See, I, I do kind of disagree with that a little bit. It's Nintendo isn't known, for, I mean, for doing that, being cutting edge on the software end. Good. Well, no, they're, they're right. Ideas are cutting edge. It's yeah, just well, they go, for, they, go, they go for the lower, the cheapest costing stuff to keep their right. systems cheap. You know, that's what yeah. we was. But I mean, some of this stuff, if it is any of it's true, they said they've been working on these games, the first party software, for several months now. True. And Wii development, actually, they do develop it in HD and it's scaled down on the Wii because right. they can't do it. Um, and they, I mean, they have a huge war chest of money and stuff. They can definitely bring in the resources really quickly to get those people on there. I, uh, I do I think. I mean, it's like it's one thing, you know. It's you a look change at, of culture too. I mean, and they're still, you know, they're still finishing up, you know, Zelda. Remember? And it's like I don't yeah, know exactly they've been working on that. that. And well, it's like if that's even still coming out on Wii. And yeah, I mean, you can't, I mean, yeah, they they a game like that. Right, scale they're they're pulling a Twilight Princess with that game. I mean, yeah. And you said Nintendo likes to do things that people don't predict. Everyone predicts like Nintendo has this like history of doing like you know the lowest costing stuff. They're not. You know, they wouldn't do this HD stuff. What if this is what they're doing? Like, no one's expecting this. I mean, I think it's too early. I agree. It's too early. A lot of this stuff is just conjecture, and, you know, it's not really that founded yet. But for, in terms of the roadmap, I mean, they have that investor meeting in Japan on the 26th. I think they got to say something at that, even at just the confirmation that's coming at E3. And as far as, like, stuff at E3, I mean, I think they'll show off some demo reel or something at the most. I don't know if they're going to have playable stuff. No, honestly, no, the hardcore yeah. people are not their demo anymore. I mean, they, yeah. you know, they know that there are going to be hardcore people around this table. You say, right, there is a brand new Zelda coming with this new console. Yes, we will all pre-order it because we're good old saps because we actually do love that gaming experience. But their demographic has moved on now to, you know, it is the Wii Fit demographic. It is the, you know, uh, Just Dance demographic. And those are the people that they're going to want to, you know, they've made their money on the Wii a hundred times over. They don't give a shit about the Wii. The Wii is now in price drop mode. So they, they, I think whatever they do is going to be, you know, a pri predominantly aimed at that wider demographic than the, the new 360 or the new, you know, PS4 right. will ever be. And they, let's assume it is true. And they do have this HD console and it is coming out next year. Does it become the Dreamcast? Where, you know, you had this little technological leap, but then a year later, the other machines just leapfrog it and make it seem... Yeah, cool. I mean, there's got to be... I, I think we're only hearing half the story. Uh, I mean, Nintendo's a smart company, and I think, to your point, Marcus, like, there's got to be some kind of bigger twist to it. And I've heard, you know, some people told me, it's, oh, well, it's, you know, it's really about co-op play and the idea of, like, two people playing together in an interesting way. You know, one on the screen, you know, the controller screen, one on the TV. Like, I think there's there's got to be a bigger story there about how they're going to try and bring, you know, families together. At, or, like... It just can't be like, oh, we're doing, you know, a you know, HD a system that's a little yeah. bit better than Xbox 360 and HD. I mean, that's just not Nintendo. No, it's not. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make sense. It will cost too much money. And, you know, it's also, it puts them in a real vulnerable position, like you said. I mean, setting them up to, you know, be Dreamcasted. Because, um, I mean, who knows, you know, what 360 or PS3 is going to do. Um, you know, last year, 360 brought out that slim 360 that a lot of people rebought, mm -hmm. And, you know, nothing prevents them from bringing out, you know, like the iPhone comes out every year, right. bringing out another 360 this year or next year. We, you know, could have more memory or, you right. know, extra features. And, I, yeah, Nintendo, just, you know, it just doesn't make sense. So I, re I really wonder kind of what's going on here. Um, behind the scenes. I'm sure there's some, you know, level of truth that they're exploring stuff. And, you know, the other thing is Nintendo is so secretive. For all we know, they may be seeding third parties with a dev kit that's with only sort of half the story. <laughs> well, yeah, or just or half the story. It's like, you know, it's like sending out a revolution dev kit, but without the controller. And it's like they may say, like, here's our architecture for the graphics. And, you know, we're not going to tell anyone until E3 what, you know, the input device or right. something. Well, that's yeah. exactly that's it, like, because if anybody, you know, 
if you've been working you know in-house at any publisher and you've seen the first generation of the dev kits that they send out so you know i was you know at vivendi when you know there were the first generation of the ps3 dev kits were sent out they look nothing like a ps3 oh, yeah. i mean you know yep. nintendo do not send this stuff out it's probably some well, they're usually bla- just you know bland little yeah pc you know pc uh, type box that you plug in mm. and that's it there's no controller there's nothing so a lot of this you know the hd screen stuff i do call shenanigans on the one thing i will be really looking forward to with uh, is to finding out how they're going inter- to integrate the 3ds because i am sure that they have got something really spectacular well but i would agree but you know it's also you know they've talked about the sort of you know remember the Wii DS connectivity and they have the cable and or you know Wii Connect 24 GBA stuff. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean they've talked about that for years and years and years and it's never really panned out. So you'd hope they get their stuff together, but I also would have hoped that 3DS would have launched with an internet browser and an eShop on yeah. day 1 and that's not there. So well, I, I think when they when the, when the console ships they will have announced that it'll be really cool. To, <laughs> to, 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 oh yeah, and that's <laughs> someday. And that, I think you can at least count on Nintendo, you know, maybe painting a picture of where they're going to go in the future, you know, other uh I was in New York yesterday I had lunch with uh Steve Dottolo Kotaku and he was saying well maybe then you know they're gonna like you know r- you know bring out the vitality sensor and sort of you know scale back the Wii and make the Wii you know $99 and you know keep that for the mainstream and then make something more for the hardcore but I don't know it's just it's a really sort of strange time I mean it's exciting because I think a lot of us thought oh we're not gonna hear much at E3 about anything but you think about you know what could Nintendo really say at E3 this year besides talk about 3DS and a couple Wii games I mean they, they need a big story well, yeah. and yeah. they stole the show last year with 3DS and I'm sure their hope this year is to uh, you know to get a lot of buzz for whatever they're doing. I just you know it's it's amazing to me the anticipation that's created just by saying Nintendo's making this console though because you know they break all the ground. That's why mm. because yeah. they ultimately are the ones who shape the industry. Whether you buy their console or not, they end right. up influencing what the other guys do. You're They're right, just, but what's interesting is there's nothing really groundbreaking that we've heard about this. It, se- it sounds very me too, mm-hmm. which is not which Nintendo. Is very so that's, Nintendo. That's what's strange. Yeah. And I think everyone's taking it at face value. It's like uh, imagining, oh, you know, what would it be like Mario if Rockstar with a did? billion polygons? Yeah, well, it's just, and just, I just uh, I don't just throw something out there for the moment. I mean, let's jump away from Nintendo. I mean. Nintendo, uh, you know, whether they like it or not, they've got us talking about E3 this year and what they're going to say. Sony, we know what their lineup is. Microsoft have been very, very quiet. They've not had any major releases in the first half of this year. We know the Gears 3 beta's out. You mentioned Forza. I, you know, I don't think that's going to be... It's not going to move anywhere. So Microsoft have Microsoft have to bring it because right now they are probably lagging in last place for you know the Christmas lineup. Connect. I, yeah, I, I mean, you say that, but they, you know, they're also, you know, they're they're selling number one, you know, every no, month. They're, 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 selling, they're consoles, selling number one. So. so, but unless they're prepared to go almost the right. Nintendo route with, you know, with a Wii, and it's like, all right, it's all connected, yeah. it's all connected across the board. I th- I wouldn't be surprised to see some major announcement out of Microsoft this year that they are bringing a new console in 2012. Johnny Cage wins. He got caged. All right, that's going to do it for this week's episode. Jeff Keeley, thank you so much for showing up, man. Thanks for inviting a lot me to guys. the show. <laughs> Finally, we got I you on I look forward the show. to coming back on soon. That was yeah. the, probably the longest show we've done. I mean, this, is, this like has been talk. a bloody good week. We gave Keeley some extra some extra love here since he made it on the show. Also, just a ton of really good stuff to talk about this week. So. It's getting exciting. I mean, this is... Uh, it is know, starting to heat up, like finally. six weeks away from E3. I know we're working on some crazy E3 plans. Uh, yeah, you know. can you can we talk about any of that yet? I don't, I don't think I we think can. We can just, just tease we're doing E3 bigger than we ever have before on uh, Spike and Game Trailers. And, you know, we got a lot of amazing stuff uh, coming. I think it's going to be, you know, really good E3. And regardless of what consoles get announced or what really happens, I think they're going to be amazing games there. Can you uh, yeah. can you comment on the rumors that there's going to be a 50-foot inflatable Dan Kaiser outside the E3 Convention Center? I cannot comment. Confirm or deny yet. <laughs> So before we close things out, we do actually have some beta codes to give away for the Gears of War 3 beta. Something for the Xbox fans because they've been rather (laughs) neglected today. Now we don't have a ton of them and you're going to have to follow us on Twitter, the Invisible Walls Twitter to get them. But stay tuned to our Twitter over the weekend and we'll be giving those out. So make sure you check it out. Uh, Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Invisible Walls is up and out.